Hello and welcome to today's talk about fish or fluorescent in situ hybridization. Fish is a cytogenetic technique for visualizing specific chromosomal locations. This is done by the binding of a so-called fluorescent probe that is complementary to this specific region on the chromosome. We talk about that in detail in a moment. The aim of fluorescent in situ hybridization is to detect chromosomal abnormalities that could cause diseases. FISH is a very useful tool for medicine since it can tell us whether the chromosomal location is mutated or not in an intact cell. The first step of the FISH assay is the fixation of the cells with a formalin-based fixative that causes extensive protein-protein and also protein-nucleic acid crosslinks. After that we can add our probes. But how are these probes designed? First of all, the probe has to be complementary to the chromosomal region of interest. This can be either done with a short double-stranded RNA probe or a short double-stranded DNA probe. With an enzyme called DNAs, we are able to create random cuts in the DNA. These cuts are also called NICs. Now we provide special nucleotides that have a fluorophore attached to them. Ligase can now seal these NICs with our fluorescent nucleotides. We successfully created a probe that is labeled with our marker. With PCR the probe can be amplified. The next step involves the denaturation of the probe that was introduced in the cell of interest. The chromosomal target DNA has also been denaturated. Denaturation can be achieved by heating up the cell at approximately 95 degrees. After that the temperature is cooled down allowing the labeled probe to specifically bind to the target DNA sequence. Once hybridization took place all probes that are not bound to any DNA are washed away. The results can be analyzed under a fluorescence microscope. If the probe is designed so that it can only bind if it is 100% complementary to a gene, we expect to see a stained location on a chromosome under the microscope. But if any sort of mutation occurred in this gene, no hybridization is possible. For some probes, even a deletion in the target region is enough to fail binding to the site of interest. No fluorescent signal should occur in this case. In research and specifically in medicine, FISH is commonly used to create a karyotype for looking at chromosomal aneuploidy. Therefore, a long probe is designed to cover whole chromosomes and stain them in different colors. Trisomy 21, also known as Down syndrome, can be detected like this. Also diseases that are caused by genetic mutations can be visualized. Usually short probes are used for this, since only a certain gene should be observed. I hope that was helpful and please ask some questions in the comments if you want to know something else.